we have a very rocky section here. We just gotta commit. Ooh. Oh, runners. Yeah, they do not like to see me coming here. Anyway. With knobby tires, very stable, no wind whatsoever. But that's the fun part about owning a motorcycle like this. Look, that guy's going onto the highway, long, boring roads. And I'm just next to the highway, having boulder and rock sections. Time to do some single track. I am not used to the motorcycle and I am not used to riding these rocky sections. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I buried myself in. Oh, God dang it. Left route easy, red route hard, red. You see that? Oh, God dang it. This is like some weird ass terrain. Ah, uh, there, some bugger just flew into my eye. And I can already barely see because I only have like one eye. But this thing handles like a champ. God dang it. Whee! Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. As you can see, we have brother and sister. No, it's not brother and sister. It's more like brother and smaller brother. More like cousin. This one is the cousin of the Northern 901 KTM 890R. You guys have been asking me to ride this beast. And we got it. 2022. Brand spank new. I think it's got like 2,000 kilometers or something. So, gotta be a little bit careful with it. We got a half-naked Suron. Today, really sorry, 1290. It's about the 890. Anyway, we are going to cut the crap. In today's video, we're going to do some off-roading. See you in a second. And boom, here we are. Now, on a normal occasion, I will be somewhere in the middle of a town, standing on the road, and driving to the harbor, riding to the harbor, just like that. But in today's video, we are not going to do that. We're in the middle of the forest already. How about that? How about 10 apples? These mirrors are like very, very round, KTM. Very round. Anyway, so we're going to review this bike. We're going to do some off-road because it's getting dark already. It's like uh, 8.30, 8.30 p.m. So it's going to get dark anytime soon and I'm wearing sunglasses. See that? I'm wearing sunglasses. It's not a good idea. So yeah, without further ado... Oh yeah, and uh, Acropovic. I got this badass Acropovic under it. And Acropovic, yeah, you guys are wussies. On a normal occasion you could just like screw a little bolt out, take the decibel killer out. But uh, I think governments and uh, European commissions Regulations have now changed it and you actually have to drill holes and yeah, it's a lot of bonanza. Anyway <laughs> I have not been riding this thing So um, it is the first time today that I'm riding this beast Off-road. I have uh, only adjusted the shifter lever just a little bit But I can already tell yeah, this is much lighter as my 1290. Holy Jesus. Oh, this is the, this is some sketchy sand Gotta be a little bit careful here Smokey Ah, I can already tell it's not that much power, of course, as my big ass 12 of 90. But I mean, this feels like a Norton. Probably because they share the same, the same engine. <laughs> Gotta be sure. Do not hit any mountain bikers here. <laughs> what the hell happened with that three? Dude, you gotta get that checked out. That's not good for you. Also, a couple years ago, five years ago, we had some uh, barbed wire, barbed wire across the trail I'm going towards now. Some idiot put some barbed wire, barbed wire on a tree and on a tree stump. And yeah, my buddy need to, have, need to get stitches because he got caught in the barbed wire. And uh, yeah, it was pretty nasty actually. Please, no barbed wire today. I've not been here in a couple of weeks. Ah, we can do some jumps here. We got a big jump coming up. Maybe pop a little bit of a wheel here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, calm down, calm down now, Smokey. This is going, this is going really fast. Oh, love this beast, love this thing. This baby is just completely made for off-road and off-road use only. Yeah, buddy, and it wheelies, it wheelies. Anyway, up to some more single tracks. I've been told that this is more of a starter adventure motorcycle and I gotta admit, the fun part, it looks like a normal neighborhood, nothing wrong with that. But if you have a motorcycle like this, you just can like go full on the brakes, go right over here. And this is all the stuff you get to learn. Like we got this little, got this little jumps over here. We got this single tracks. Look, look all the stuff that is hidden. 
look at all the stuff that is hidden underneath your nose and you never knew about it once you get a motorcycle like these yeah you get to know all of these little trails and little extra there's like an extra world going open <laughs> You are finding yourself riding on a big ass road and you're like, hey, what am I doing here? This actually kind of sucks. So, just go right here. Just do it like that. And we're back. <laughs> One hand. Ooh, that was sketchy. Sheesh. Yeah, this is not a 350 Enduro, but it feels and it steers like one. The only issue is when you have to pick it up. Well, I gotta say, this one isn't as heavy as a 1290. These ones go dry weight. I think it was like 196 kilograms. That's for the 1290. It's more like 20 to 20-ish. So it's like 20, 25 kilograms more. Oh, runners. Yeah, they do not like to see me coming here. Anyway. Ah, there's a bug in my... Ah! There's a bug in my helmet. Karma. No. <laughs> this is uh, the suspension, the off-road suspension, of course. Because the 890R is like fully focused on off-road riding. TET, TET Roots. T8T Trans American Trail Roots. That's what this thing is absolutely built for. And yeah, I got a feeling this is going to be a gnarly ride. And you guys may or may not know it, but oh, a little drift here. It's the third gear. <laughs> oh, it went too far. It went too far. Yeah, that's that's the scary part. If you put the MTC on, uh, the MTC totally off, so you can drift it all the way and just go underneath or make a high sider. Yeah, got to be a little bit careful with that. Oh, that went better. That was like second gear really up to forward. That's a lot better. Always be careful. If you're popping wheelies, don't do it near people who are riding their bicycles or whatever. Just put it down. If anything happens, you do not, uh, you do not grind them over. Um, hello? If you... <laughs> oh, hey. Are we going to give this guy some dust? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's karma. Uh, I can't do that. I can't do that. If I give anybody dust, I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash a couple seconds later. That's that's how my that's how my karma feelings work. I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, we're very crowded here, so I gotta be. Yeah, third gear. Now, this thing is kind of aggressive. I have it in rally mode. Rally mode is like the most aggressive mode for off-road riding. And when you're wheeling, your throttle response is like, dude, this thing is like really aggressive. See, there's like a lot of cars here as well and parking lots so I have to be that just a tiny little bit careful you see that just like that there you go yeah. go go don't look at me like that I know I can ride here yeah but this thing this is actually pretty good to learn how to wheelie I'm not gonna lie about that it's pretty fun but like the 1290 the 1290 with its 160 horsepower is just an absolute monster if you're doing like 80 third gear little clutch it comes up just that little bit but the 1290 will just be like bop up and away you go so damn this rear off-road tire is making a lot of noise but as far from that i mean i'm in my dirt bike clothes on the highway doing like i gotta okay guys hear that can you guys hear that rear tire it's an off-road Nobby tire, so I'm thinking about not going to the harbor today. And maybe do some more off-road stuff? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's not made for the highway. I have no idea why I'm here. But no matter what, I am on the highway doing 120. That's the maximum speed we can do here. Gonna put uh, the cruise control on with Nobby tires. Very stable, no wind whatsoever. There's like a little bit of wind on my chest. It's actually pretty good. I mean, knobby tires, very knobby tires on the highway. I mean, look at that. This thing is stable as can be. Can't complain about that. Uh, how do I turn it off? Oh, yeah, I like that. So yeah, pretty fun. Anyway, we're going to take, uh, we are not going to do a long uh, speed test. We're not going to take a high speed test, a long highway test. This is not BMW GS. This is not a Super Adventure S or Super Adventure R. We're going to do with this motorcycle what it's supposed to do long trails long off-road single tracks and stuff like that so first exit i'm going off back onto the single tracks back into the off-road park it is what it is we got to use it for what it's made for and off we go and just like that we are off the highway and i can already see you guys thinking like but wait he's going off the highway i mean 
That's not a lot of fun. I know, but the second you get off the highway, just take the first corner to your right. Just like that. Like I said, these are trails that you can only find on some apps and... Oh, there's a kitty cat! There's a kitty cat! These are some trails that only you will find if you have a knobby tire. Or like a semi off-road tire, but look at that. There's like absolutely nothing to see here. But look at that. We got a single track. Probably somebody walking or running here, but it doesn't matter because I have Australian plates and I'm from Austria and I'm lost. I'm looking for a camping spot. Oh, uh oh. Oh, we got a rocky section here. We have a very rocky section here. We got it. We just gotta. We just gotta commit. Oh. <laughs> oh, I gotta take a look at that. What the hell was that? Since when do they have rocks in here? Look at that. Hmm. Where the hell did the boulders come from? That was kind of gnarly already. But that's the fun part about owning a motorcycle like this. Look, that guy's going onto the highway, long, boring roads. And I'm just next to the highway, having boulder and rock sections. You do have these sticks and things hanging around here. And I'm not really sure. I hope I do not have to turn around here because this can also be, oh, sheesh. Oh, I gotta be a bit, gotta be a little bit careful here because I am not used to the motorcycle and I'm not used to riding these rocky sections. <laughs> yeah, no problem whatsoever. Just do not stall the bike. Don't drive too slow. Stand up. Have a little bit of throttle going on. It's in rally mode. The thing is like very aggressive. And just keep on going. So rocky sections, smoky proofs. If you're thinking about getting this as a beginner, but well, that's a big bird. Dude, you are going to catch some mice today for sure. That is one big back buff mur. I mean, if you're getting this, this as a first bike, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people doing a lot of crazy stuff with this machine. Uh, you should check out Gregory Gordine. He's a buddy of mine. Uh, he's also a KTM ambassador. Like, uh, uh, what's the big guy called again? Damn, I can't remember his name. Um, Chris, Chris, uh, New Zealander. Very big guy. Why can't I come up with his name? Maybe I have like COVID or something, I don't know. But yeah, also check out Gregory Gordine. Uh, he has been doing like Romaniacs and, and things like that with a 790R. Dude is absolutely a menace. And I saw him jumping the 890R last week for like 20, 30 meters long jumps with the 890R. Now, I can ride just a little bit, but sure as hell, I am not jumping this machine for 20, 30 meters. Now, Gregory Gordine, that guy has got, yeah, it, it must be hard. He must have back problems with balls that big, living with balls that big. I mean, everybody's walking their dogs. <laughs> and I do not want to kill a dog. I do not want to kill a dog. Or run somebody over for that fact. Oh god dang it, this is fun. This is sheesh. I gotta find find some more mountain bike single tracks now. I'm hooked. I'm I'm yeah, it's like an addiction. At first you get in your motorcycle and you're like, nah, I don't know, it's a little bit hot, it's a little bit warm. But when you get going, can I pull a wheelie here? Nah, this is nah, my tire is not flat enough. I cannot pull wheelies here off-road. Oh, no, no, not a lot of dust. Gotta close my visor. 